Hello everyone and welcome. Today we're going to talk about something I need Aegis players to do a lot more. And that is doing empty landings. No, not tomahawks, but I will get to those. Everything I talk about today can be applied to the whole cast, so regardless of which character you play, you should be able to get something out of it. Anyway, empty landings is exactly what it sounds like. You land while doing nothing at all. The purpose is to keep the opponent guessing and make yourself less predictable. Landing with arrows is very common, so doing this acts as a mix-up to throw your opponent off. If they love doing moves out of shield, you can do this as a bait and punish. Taking things a step further, landing with nothing also acts as parry bait. Since you're not landing with an attack, there is nothing for the opponent to parry. Dropping shield is pretty laggy, and the opponent will likely try to use a move after their parry, so that gives you plenty of time to punish. It's probably my favorite use case for this, because I get to blow people up for missing parries, and that's always fun. Speaking of parry baiting, tomahawks are also great for that. Your opponent is stuck dropping shield, so it's a free grab for you. Tomahawks are also generally fantastic when your opponent is shielding often. Which happens very frequently because of Pyra's fair factor. Seriously, I encourage you to tomahawk with Pyra as much as possible. People get so scared, it's practically guaranteed. Of course, you won't ever get a kill from it, but you do get positioning, which... Last time I checked is one of Pyra's favorite things after tea. The last thing I want to touch on is multiple empty hops. Landing with nothing once is great, but what if you did it twice? Oh yes, now we're talking. This is how you keep your opponent constantly guessing, as they'll never truly know when an attack is coming. Of course, use it in moderation like everything else I've mentioned, these are mix-ups after all. Anyway, that was a lot, but I think that pretty much covers everything I wanted to convey with this video. When people say Pyra is too predictable, I raise an eyebrow in response, and I'm sure you now understand why. Implementing stuff like this into your gameplay is a game changer, and I'm hoping this video will help people get to the next level. If you enjoyed and want to see more guides in the future, why don't you leave a like and a comment? Perhaps even subscribe as you can catch my future uploads. If you're interested in more Aegis related guides, I have a playlist right here as well. Thanks for watching, and take care.